RC. I'm going to do to give you some baseball drills that you can either do in partners or by yourself. If you're going to do it by yourself, what you're going to need is going to get a baseball glove, tennis ball, and a brick wall. So let's get started. So for the first drill, what we're going to do is just a little bit of a warm-up drill, just for accuracy. Find a point on the wall, you're going to aim towards it, lightly toss, you can let the ball bounce, or you can throw it hard enough to catch it. And repeat that. Once you get comfortable, take a couple of steps back, and try a little further, throw a little harder. Go further back, step into it, throw, catch, or let it bounce. Repeat. So the, first, so the first drill we're going to try to do, if you're using a wall or if you have a partner, if you're using a wall, what you want to do is you want to aim towards the bottom part of the wall, so stay around here, so that way the ball bounces back, almost like an infield ground ball. If you have a partner, get them to ground the ball towards you. So, by yourself, what you want to do, aim nice and well against the wall again, your good fielding position, Pause down, bring the ball up to your chest. Second drill, what we're going to try to do, we're going to try to do some pop-ups. For your pop-ups, if you're working in partners, this is going to be a lot easier for you to do. Because your partner can just throw the ball up in the air for you. you can just take a step back, get a good view, catch it in the pocket of your glove. If you're doing this by yourself, it's going to be a little bit harder. But try with what you got. Uh, if it's a windy day, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty with the wind blowing, especially a tennis ball. And uh, if you let the ball drop, that's okay. Don't be discouraged. Keep on trying. I'm going. Take a couple of steps back. Pull the ball up in the air. Get underneath it. Catch it with the pocket of your glove. Throw it up in the air. The high one. Catch. Repeat as many times as you like. All right. So drill number three. This one's going to help you with your lateral movement for infielding. Very similar to the first drill, except now what we're doing is we're taking a sidearm approach and you're gonna have to laterally move to the side, come over, get planted. That one, the ball hopped up on me. That's okay. Just repeat, keep on going. Down, field. It's gonna be harder to field with a tennis ball. The tennis ball is gonna bounce on you. Just do with what you got. All right, so fourth and last drill. This one is just a simple drill. It's very similar to the warm up, and it's just to test your accuracy. So what you can do is you come closer, start with just a gentle toss on the wall. Find a target on the wall that you're aiming for. Take a step, aim into it. Don't try to throw too hard. And then once you're feeling a little more comfortable, Take a couple of steps back, take a bigger step, aim, throw, bigger step, aim, throw, and if you're feeling really ambitious, then you have a really big target, and you can have a good arm, and you want to test yourself, try throwing from distance now. So this would almost simulate like you're throwing from the outfield. Ball bounced you. Back. And you can still practice the other drills, like infielding and whatnot. All right, so those are four simple drills that you can try. A couple for infielding, one for outfielding. Uh, you can use this either with a partner, so a parent. Uh, if you are going to go somewhere at home that doesn't have a smooth brick wall, please ask your parents for permission first. I hope you guys are doing well. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Stay safe.